Hello again, everybody. This is Craig Evans of Autism Hangout, and thank you for tuning into this Autism Hangout special report. I'm on the road today. I'm talking to somebody that has some very special messages. As parents, as we're raising our kids, we often discover things about our special kids that we really like to tell other parents. It's not all doom and gloom. There's wonderful things that can happen. And today's special guest has got stories like this. I would like to introduce you to singer, songwriter, musician, Kathy Banta. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you. It's just so nice to actually sit down with you in your home in front of your piano yeah. and talk about things like autism and positive messages. Mm -hmm. Tell us first your story about how you got into autism. We had our son in 2003. Right away we knew something was different. Um, he had extra strength and uh, just his temperament was much more extreme than um, our kids that we had had previous to him and mm -hmm. uh, we knew something was different and at two and a half I took him into uh, the pediatrician um, because I thought maybe he was deaf because we would talk to him and and he wouldn't respond and so um, they checked him over and said oh no he's in perfect health why don't you go to the school district they tested him and diagnosed him on mm -hmm. the autism spectrum and we got him into their program at about three years old. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, oh, so you got him in really early. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. Now, your profession as a singer-songwriter, how did that affect your life? It put everything on halt because mm -hmm. I, I just could not leave him in ever, any ordinary nursery or uh, he just had a lot of needs and um, I, it, was, it was traumatic for him. Mm -hmm. So I needed to settle down put him first and and just put all my energy into helping him through the beginning stages. So you came of off this. the road a while? Yeah. How yeah. long? Uh, five years. Okay. Yeah. And your son's name is Charlie and he's how old today? He is eight. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you've been going back on the road now. Yes. What's changed? Um, Charlie has progressed amazingly. I really believe between God and early intervention that um, it, he he just has really adapted so well and um, that's not to say that kids that don't adapt God's not intervening but I just feel fortunate that he has just made leaps and bounds so quickly he um, yeah it's just amazing he um, I'll talk about him when I'm out and about and and he'll say just and I'll, I'll say it Charlie I'm gonna talk about you tonight and he'll say um, just tell him I learned different mom and I love that that he has that acceptance. What are some of the messages that you tell people today? I think there's this huge um, misconception that autism is only the extreme cases. Mm -hmm. There are extreme cases, mm -hmm. but there's this whole other spectrum from uh, of, of people in all different levels of gifts and deficiencies and strengths and weaknesses. Just because he's been labeled autism doesn't mean that he's not capable mm -hmm. because he's actually more capable than I am in a lot of areas oh, and yeah. so and I know that as he grows his, his future is bright so that is one thing I like to share is is that um, take that stereotype away and, and um, think openly mm -hmm. uh, another thing I love to share is that um, we often talk in front of our children in a negative way, and I think that that is really hindering. And I, I like to tell parents, you know, don't do that because we want them to dream about the stars and not be um, pulled back by our... Our expectations. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And try to, try to tell parents, don't turn the dreams off. As a Christian performer, how important has your faith been in this? Very, very. Because when I, um, when we first got Charlie's diagnosis, um, I, I, there was a process of mourning because we didn't know what the future held. I thought there was something wrong with me, and so I had really been going to God and Lord, help me to be a better mother. Help me to be a better mother to this kid. And where I just really. Um, had to ask God for strength, and God, God has carried us through, given us hope. Mm -hmm. And you know, churches, um, church has been a wonderful blessing for me because that's how I've gotten back into music. Mm -hmm. But um, during his toughest times, we chose to 
pull herself out of church because it wasn't a place that was um, socially helpful for him. He was overstimulated and mm. he, um, it just was, it was, it ended up, we were more frustrated at church than we were helped. So we pulled out of church and then gradually went back to church and um, God is at home too when you need him. Mm -hmm. you know? And I'm assuming that a lot of your music was not only cathartic, as, uh, but it's also allowing you a chance to do more ministry as Definitely. it relates to parents of kids on the spectrum. Are you writing songs now about Charlie? Definitely, yeah. I, um, I wrote a song called A Different Day and that um, is out about all about uh, the time that I was kind of being benched musically and concentrating on him. And um, every time I would pray and ask God, you know, will I get a chance to, to do music again? Um, I felt in my spirit him just saying, you're right where you're supposed to be. So that, that gave me hope that, okay, this is what I'm supposed to concentrate on right now. Could you play a tune for us? Sure. This is a different day. I have a lot of parents talk to me um, after my performances. That has been so rewarding to encourage parents that this is not doom and gloom. Take a deep breath. You can do this. It's going to take a lot of energy. It's, it's going to take some creativity, but you can do this and um, God will help you and provide strength. You have to keep going out and putting your kid out there so they know how to interact with the public. And there are going to be people that are going to rain on your parade, but take heart, keep pushing ahead, and, and don't give up. And those discouraging days, you just have to give back to God, and, and He will help you through. Where can people go to learn more information about your music? Um, www.kathybanta.com